Do you hate being poor? Do you want to be rich like me? Well, go over to Messy Modding Services where you can buy GTA 5 modded accounts, GTA 5 money, and rank for PS4, Xbox One, and PC. Check their website out in the link below. And if you're having doubts, just look at all these happy customers. Alright, so this video is kind of going to be like a, a part two to the last like top 10 things you didn't know in 2020 that video and that video did pretty well it got like 9.2k likes so i don't know if we can beat that but if we can i mean it's worth a shot so like maybe 10k likes in this video that'd be pretty pretty nice but uh this video is going to be different it's not going to be 10 things it's going to be like a bunch of things i've got a list so far of about almost 40 40 questions i guess get like commented on all the time and i'm gonna go through them try and go through them pretty quick so this video is not boring and yeah hopefully hopefully you learn something new but without further ado uh let's get into them and little warning some of these questions are pretty stupid but i do actually get these questions asked more than you think but uh yeah let's go so the first two are kind of linked it's how do you use auto aim on pc and how do you use a controller on pc now using auto aim on pc is the exact same as console you literally just join an auto aim lobby and use a controller you can't use auto aim on mouse and keyboard in case you didn't already know that for some reason uh, you can use a controller and to use a controller on pc this is how you do it so step one you get a controller it can be any ps4 controller or even an xbox one controller in fact it can be literally any controller that works on a pc and then once you get your ps4 controller you get a wire for it plug it into your pc like this then you get the other end of the controller or uh, other end of the wire even this goes into uh you charge your controller so you just plug it in like that in fact you can even use bluetooth but you can use Google to find out how to use Bluetooth. PS4 controller, it's kind of different. Xbox One controller, it works straight away, but basically there's an app called DS4 Windows that you have to download. So once you download it, and you run it, your controller should be detected. As you can see, it's detected. I've got a custom profile, so it's like a, like a RGB. It's pretty cool. Wow, look at that. Uh, you got to make sure your controller is set up first before you launch GTA, because sometimes it doesn't work. Like, it's literally that easy. How do people not know this? In fact, you can literally just Google it. Okay, on well, Google. Let's go, go Google it. How to use controller on GTA 5 PC. Uh, and there we go. I oh, know, it's just tells you to do it, and there's a video here. How to use PS4 controller. It's literally this easy. You literally just search it, and it, all your questions are answered. Okay, that question was probably a bit long-winded. Uh, next two. What is BST, and why do I use BST? So here's a little clip of me buying BST, and if you use your brain, you'll see that when it pops up on the screen, bullshark testosterone, and in the bottom right corner is BST. So maybe the two things are related. Maybe BST is bullshark testosterone, and maybe if you use Google, like I am doing right now, you can see what BST does. Yes, people actually ask me all the time, what is BST? But anyway, on to the next one. Why do I use it? Uh, mainly because if people are using mods, it's quite helpful because I can one-shot people with every sniper with it. Uh, it gives me extra damage, kill people quicker. I don't use it to give me an unfair advantage. Also means I don't hit market people when I start them out of a jet. <gasps> but next one. Okay, what is EWO and why do I use EWO? If that's how you'd say it. Basically, EWO is easy way out. <gasps> and easy way out also refers to when you suicide with a sticky bomb basically whenever you kill yourself in gta why do i use it um i mean to get rid of cops uh if my health is low and well, i can just respawn with better health if my spawn is pretty dodgy I can just respawn in a better place uh yeah uh anyway spamming i don't really do it some people do it because they want to protect the score or protect the kd stuff like that but also another question i get about ewo is how do you easy way out so fast and how do i do it without a cooldown so here's me on my YouTube channel right now. Um, this video right here. So we'll go to comments. Let's have a look going down. Did Rockstar fix the Evo timer? Evo's back on Xbox, not but not PS4, even though this is from PS4 footage. What the hell? How do you do without cooldown? Which is one of the ones that I used in the video. Uh, yeah, this is the video right here. Second two. Time of recording, 4th December 2018. That's like a year and a half ago. Five seconds into the video, this is odd footage, that's why you see me do some texts that aren't possible anymore. Fast Ewo. Hmm, maybe that's why I can Ewo without cooldown. Yeah, that, that was me saying cooldown, but I kind of hear it. Next question is, how do I zoom and move at the same time? So basically, I put my thumb here, and then I use this finger to zoom. So I've got like, zoom and move, and I play like that, pretty much. And the question is, how do I move fast with sniping? Use first person, can make you strafe left and right faster than when you use third person. Keep with a mouse, you can move left and right even faster than if you could use controller. So yeah, that's how I move fast. 
Another question is how do I move fast in first person while using the interaction menu? Now, if you've got standard profile or whatever it's called, um, your movement set setting thing, you can't move fast with the interaction menu. So that's why I use standard FPS too. It makes R1 your run button, X your roll button, or the Xbox equivalents. And it means that you can use a menu while you're sprinting. Next thing is you can actually kill people in GTA. I don't know if you know that, uh, but yeah, Rockstar actually wants you to kill because you've got bounties, all that stuff. If someone kills you once or twice, they're not a griefer. If someone kills you three times or keeps killing you over and over, and they are a bit annoying, maybe go passive or leave if you're in the middle of something that is kind of griefing. But like, if I just like go around and kill someone once, see if they want to fight, that's fine. I shouldn't be crucified for it. However, I do totally understand that some people can find like if someone's going around constantly killing them, constantly follow them, following them around, that is actually really annoying and that is pretty much griefing and that's why I don't do it. So, but to some extent that is fine, killing people is fine, but I think you've still got to not be like an asshole and just kill people over and over. That's why I only fight people that mainly fight back. So after that little bit of GTA politics, how do I find sessions with griefers in? Now on your guys end, you see me pumping out videos about like, this tryhard that I killed, or this griefer that I destroyed, or stuff like that. The same with you versus, but it can be super hard to find griefers sometimes. We can session swap for like maybe four hours. Like literally that's dedication that I take in to taking out these guys. Like sometimes it can take four hours of constant session swapping and other stuff to try and find people that I can make a video out of. However, there are a couple things that you can do. One of the things I do is join the iGen crew. It mainly many gets you in like full lobbies and there's sometimes Quite a lot of griefers in the IGN crew. Now, people moan, why do I kill my crew members? It's because I'm in the IGN crew and there's like 5 million members, probably more. It doesn't really matter because it's not like set up or anything. Another thing is you can like, you can join crews, have them as your secondary crew and join members through that crew, like a GTA tryhard crew or something like that. You can also join communities or clubs, whatever console you want. But the main thing is, look, you're not going to be guaranteed a session to get in. Just have patience and then you're bound to find someone at some point. Now another question is, how do I have so much money? So basically, on my PS4 accounts, uh, there used to be PS3 accounts, you can mod really easy on PS3, so someone modded the account on PS3, gave them loads of money, and you used to be able to transfer accounts from PS3 to PS4, so I just transferred them over, and I get the money that was modded on my PS4. On PC, you can mod straight there, so that's how I have so much money, just got someone to mod it for me. Okay, so the next question is, how do you get uh, Thermal Ninja on PS4, or GTA just in general? So, what we're going to do is search. How to get thermal in Jet GTA. Um, let's do this one. Why not? I know, but basically, if you just follow these instructions, it's really that easy. You can literally just you can just search anything and get the answer straight away. One people want to know is how do you rocket spam or quick switch on GTA? I've just searched rocket spam GTA. GTA. Okay, maybe that one doesn't work, but yeah, rocket spam. Um, I'm guessing this video is. I just have to do it. And there we go, he shows a rocket spam. Okay, another thing that I've got is how do I have the advanced scope and thermal? Now, I actually have a thermal helmet. You can use thermal with the thermal helmet and you can use any sniper scope with it, so that's how. I just have the thermal thermal helmet and the advanced scope. I don't actually have a thermal advanced scope, if you know what I mean. Next question I get all the time is, why do I have so many accounts? And where do I get them from? Uh, I mainly get them from my friends, because my friends have mod menus so they can make accounts for PC really easily. But I've got so many because on GTA 5 PC, modders can join you just by entering your name into their mod menu. So they just enter your name and then they can get in your session and then they can crash your game, do all sorts of stuff, basically just mess everything up, even DDoS you. So, so if people don't know who I am, it also makes making videos really easy. And it also makes it more entertaining for you because I'm basically just like acting like a random player that no one knows about. Like if I expose someone for griefing or something like that, that's how they usually play the game. Like they don't play different because I'm around. I know, it's hard to explain, but hopefully you understand. Another thing people ask is how do I one shot in GTA? So let's go to speedtest.net. It's my internet speed normally. It's pretty, pretty average. So 60 down, probably about like 20 up maybe. So if I go to upload a YouTube video, this is a big file, it's like a nine, nine gigabyte file. So yeah, it's uploaded, an hour, 12 minutes left. So that's like an an hour of one shot. So we try it again. Ping's what important, 142. So, so if you don't know what's happening here, I basically made the connection to the server about 10 times as long, which is just about long enough for me to be able to one shot, because that's how GTA servers work. Another thing I use is a VPN, which basically means that 
if I hit someone on GTA, that information is going to go all the way to America before it gets to the GTA servers, rather than just going straight to GTA servers. Uh, well, that's if I put my VPN in America. But it's some people think this is unfair. It's not because it's a one shot both ways. No one has an advantage, and I'm not teleporting around the, the map like a really laggy. It's literally just like one shot with a heavy sniper. That's about it. You can see in this video here, uh, this is with one shot on, if that's what you'd call it. And this guy's not teleporting around. I wasn't teleporting around for him. It's just one shot, heavy sniper, not unfair. And one shot for both of us as well. Next one, how high is my KD? It's about two to three. Uh, it's not really that high because I mainly kill people that want to fight back. So I don't just farm on noobs. Another one is, I say I don't care about KD, but I look at everyone else's KD. So griefers usually have a few characteristics. It's like high KD and high mental state. Now if someone's got a high KD, that's a good chance that they might be a griefer or KD warrior or tryhard or something like that. Someone that likes to PvP, which is all I care about. Don't care about their KD, I just care that they want to PvP or something. So that's why I look at it. Next one, how do I run fast? Now, one of my accounts on PS4 actually does have a fast run, which means it's modded so that it can run a slight bit faster like 1.1 times or 1.2 times faster than a normal account. It doesn't affect how fast you strafe, it's just it's a bit easier to run to places, I guess. Also, you can't get that on accounts anymore unless it's on PC. Now, another one is how do I get better? Now, this is not an easy question, but the main thing is practice. Like, you can't get better unless you play the game. And also, don't practice with bad people. Practice with players that are actually good. So, it's not just like you constantly beating them, it's actually a challenge. Also, watch some like YouTube videos, copy what good players do, stuff like that. Another question, how do I have thermal vision? Don't know why this is a question, but you go to the mask store or clothes store, it's in the helmets and it's quad lens, and then you can enable it in the interaction menu. Also, just Google it. Like, holy shit. Next, how do you scroll through game chat on PC? Uh, you just open the, the game chat like by pressing T and then use the page up, page down button. Next one, how do you join my sessions? Uh, basically, I make it so you can't join my sessions because I don't particularly want you guys to. Um, not a rude thing, I guess, but it's just because it ruins ruins the fun for me, if everyone knows who I am. Next is how do I pick people to fight? KD isn't everything, it's usually how people act. I just pick people that look suspicious. I'll also just go around the lobby, kill some people that look suspicious, like once or twice. If they fight back like a tryhard, then I'll continue the fight. If not, I'll just leave them alone. I have eight fingers and two thumbs. Basically, when you suicide, you lose the cops, so I just suicide whenever I get cops. And for this one, you can't crossplay yet on GTA 5. Okay, so let's come to the last two things. How do you use keyboard and mouse on PS4? Um, you can't yet, or you can't natively. And even if you could, with like a Zim or something, it will be so laggy, so you might as well just use a controller. Next one is how to job teleport. Um, just Google it. But then, yeah, basically the main thing from this video is, if you've got a question, best thing to use is Google. Um, yeah, but these are some little things that people ask me all the time and i've just answered them hope you guys enjoy it might do something like this again we'll see but yeah thanks